Hey, what's going on, guys? Today, we're going to be making some delicious, meaty red beans and rice and some baked chicken. Just look at that meat in those beans. So good. It's not too hard to do. And with winter coming up, this is perfect for you. Let's go ahead and get started, and I'll let you know these ingredients we're going to be using. All right, so of course, we have our beans. This is just a pound of red beans that I've soaked overnight. Uh, we have some turkey necks that I smoked. We have some smoked sausage, or you can use andouille. I'm not a big fan of andouille, so I'm using smoke. We have a small green pepper, a small onion, bay leaf. I may or may not use the uh, gumbo filet. Sea salt, garlic, black pepper. We have some chicken base, and I also have um, some cumin that I'm gonna be putting in there as well. Now, the first thing all we, we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and brown off our sausage. We're gonna brown that off and just put it to the side. Uh, for future use i like to get a little bit of the char on the sausage before we put it in the beans you don't technically have to do this but i like to do it um, so we're just going to brown it off set it to the side and then start on our veggies all right so now that we've got our sausage all browned up we're just going to remove it and we're going to start on our veggies now the andouille that i can get around where i live i'm not a big fan of i'm not to say i don't like all andouille i just don't like the brands and stuff that were um, that I get in my area. We're not able to get like good smoked sausage like Koneka sausage or um, some of the ones that you may find down south there in Texas. So I just normally stick to this regular good old uh, smoked sausage, a good brand there. But you can use kind of whatever you like. So after we've got our sausage out, I'm just gonna add in two tablespoons of butter just to add a little bit more um, flavor at the bottom. And we're gonna go ahead and saute up our veggies. Now I'm not gonna saute them all the way to translucent, but just get a little head start. So just probably saute them up for about a minute to a minute and a half. Then we're gonna go in and put in our chicken stock and our um, turkey necks. Now, the chicken stock, I'm just using the, the chicken base that I have. I'm not making it very salty, so I'm making like a uh, more of a milder batch, so it's not gonna be full of sodium, but it is gonna provide a nice layer of flavor uh, for our beans. And what I want to add to my seasonings right now, or to my pot, I'm just going to add in some garlic powder. Um, a lot of the other seasons I like to layer in as we cook, but I am going to get my garlic powder in there right now. I'm not going to add my cumin until a little later, and I won't add any salt until we're uh, just about done with the beans. You, when you add your salt too early, it could cause a lot time, oftentimes your beans to split, and sometimes you can over season, so I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go went in with my garlic powder. We went in with our chicken stock and we're just going to bring this up to a, a rolling boil. Then we're going to add in our turkey necks and allow them to get a head start as well. Um, this is not necessarily either, but I like to go ahead and do my tur uh, turkey necks for about 30 minutes or so before I add in my beans just to give them a head start. Now these turkey necks are going to produce quite a bit of meat. It may not look like it right now, but once they cook down, that meat begins to pull off the bone. You'll see that it's quite a bit of meat that we're going to get from these turkey necks. I almost forgot. I wanted to go ahead and add in my bay leaves as well. So I just added in about four bay leaves in there. The way we make sure we get that flavor jumping off in that pot. All right. So while we're bringing those turkey necks and everything up to a simmer and letting them go for a little bit, we're just going to go ahead and get started on our baked chicken. Now, I've already washed and cleaned my legs here. I'll just add a little bit of olive oil and we're going to keep it really, really simple here. So I'm using some smoked paprika. That's just for my color and just a little bit of flavor, but most more so for the color. We're also going to be using some garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and some Lowry seasoned salt. I'm also going to put in a couple pads of uh, butter around the edges so it doesn't stick and that's to add a little bit more flavor. But it, this is going to be really, really simple baked chicken. Um, I prefer just a simple baked chicken. I do like to add sometimes um, some more herby flavored um, seasonings, but on this particular one, we're just keeping it super simple and very basic with it. So I'm gonna go nice and liberally with my garlic and my onion. So-so with my Lowry seasoned salt. Don't wanna over season and go as heavy or as light as you want with your black pepper. Once you get your seasonings in there, we're just going to go ahead and massage it up, get everything all coated all over our chicken, make sure everything is looking good, and this is going to go into a 375 degree oven covered. I am going to put some onions in there as well, and then uh, we're going to go into a 375 degree oven, let it go for about 45 minutes covered, uncover it, and then cook it the rest of the way. All right, so everything is seasoned up. Again, I'm going to cover it, throw it in the oven, and let it go. 
All right, here are our turkey necks and our uh, veggies seasoned up real good. We've had this going for about 30 minutes. And you can see how it's taken on this really nice, rich colored broth. So now we're gonna go ahead on and add in our beans. I forgot to mention I added in about six and a half cups of water at the very beginning and cooked it from there. You kind of just follow the directions on the back of the back of the beans when you cook them. So it called for six cups to cook them in. I added about six and a half cups, almost seven, because I knew I was gonna have some liquid cook out or evaporate while I was boiling my turkey necks down. So all I'm doing now is just adding in my beans, giving everything a good stir, and we're gonna bring it back up to a boil and let them go for a little while. I don't wanna worry about adding any seasonings in at the moment because um, we're just gonna let the beans do what they do and we'll begin to uh, add flavor and seasonings to them as we go on. We've already got a good amount of flavor in there with our stock and everything, but that's all we need for now. So it's gonna cover it loosely, let them go for about 45 and then we'll bring you back. All right, family, so we've let our chicken go for 45 minutes covered. Now we're just gonna uncover it. Um, turn some pieces around and throw it right back on in that oven, uncover it and let it continue to cook. All right, so here are our beans. We've had our beans going for 45. Wanna bring them in, go ahead and scrape the bottom of that pot, make sure you have nothing sticking, get everything a good stir. And I don't know if you can see, but you can see how the meat is starting to fall off of those turkey necks already. So that's what we want. We want that meat to fall off that those turkey necks easily. There are a lot of bones in turkey necks, so you are gonna have to remove some bones, but that's perfectly fine. The amount of meat you're gonna get off these things is gonna make it worth it. And right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and add in my cumin and my black pepper. Now, cumin is optional. I'd like to add cumin and chili powder sometimes to my beans, but that is uh, totally optional. But I add, think it adds a nice flavor. And then just gonna season them up with some uh, crushed black peppers or, or coarse black pepper as well. Give them a stir, cover them, and continue to let them go. All right, guys, and here's our finished product on our chicken. Nice and juicy. Perfectly seasoned and cooked. We're gonna set that to the side and keep on rolling. So we've allowed our beans now to go for about a, just under an hour and a half. So look at all that meat we got right there. And we still haven't even added in our smoked sausage yet. So in the uh, sausage thickness. So if you need to add a little more liquid, you can always add water while you're cooking. That's perfectly normal and fine. And all I wanna do now is just give my beans a taste. Now we can start adding in our salt and if we wanna add any more garlic or onion or black pepper, anything of that nature. So we are gonna add in a little salt right now. Just season them to taste. I'm looking for a more of a savory um, bean. So we want to definitely make sure that we have enough salt, but not overly salty. And these things are looking phenomenal. Now, if you want them a little more creamy, you can go ahead and start smashing some of those beans up or you can use some of the gumbo filet at the end. But I, uh, I, the way my beans are looking, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave that out and not gonna worry about adding any of that into my beans at this time. I just wanna check and make sure that my beans are getting tender. And you can see they're just busting down really nice and easy. So I just got probably another 20 minutes or so before these beans are done. So we're just gonna to continue to let them simmer a little bit. Then we'll bring, uh, bring add that sausage in, let it get back hot. And then we'll be ready to rock here real soon. All right, family, so we're just about done. Now I did take all the, remove all the bones or most of the bones I could get out of my turkey necks and take the meat off the bone. So you can see that here. Everything is looking good. So now we're just gonna add, uh, put in our smoked sausage the last 10, 15 minutes, let it come back up, let those flavors come together. Then we're gonna be ready to serve. Just look how meaty those beans look right now. Now these beans are a meal in themselves. Um, I just wanted some chicken to go with it. So we are gonna have some rice on the side, baked chicken and some cornbread quite naturally. But everything is looking good. Now at this point, you can give everything a taste again. Make sure it's right where you want it to be. And then if it is, just let them continue to simmer a little bit again. If you want to smash some of those beans up so they can get a little more creamy, you could do that this time. Or if you wanted them a little bit, wanted a little bit more gravy, you could add a little bit more liquid or stock in there at the moment too and let it cook down for about five minutes and you'd be perfect. But uh, we're ready now, we're ready. And just look at these beans, look at all that meat, perfectly cooked tender beans, sausage, smoked turkey neck, the rice, the gravy. 
Here's our perfectly cooked baked chicken, seasoned to perfection, a little cornbread on the side. You can't beat this for a winter meal, guys. So I hope you all enjoyed the recipe. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Leave some comments down below. Ask questions if necessary. Uh, thank you all for watching. God bless. We'll catch you on the next one.